Hello and welcome. Well, we got Toyota in the news, BMW, Renault, Caterham, Ford EV news, also some pricing for the new GTR, rumored pricing on the McLaren P1, also a little story about a vintage race car that a guy got sued over, and also a little story from my backyard. First off on the list today, BMW's in the news. BMW actually going to go in, in with Toyota Motor Company actually to develop some new technology for future fuel vehicles. Now the ve things that they're going to try to develop together are going to be some lightweight materials, number one, also new fuel cells that will be available, and an interesting new lithium air battery. Pretty exciting news coming out of this company. They've been trying to get together a deal to work on some future projects together, and they finally got the deal done. And I'm going to be pretty excited to see what could happen with this lithium air battery in the future. Next up on the list, this is the Renault Alpine concept. Now, Renault Nissan actually built this concept. I think it was for maybe Geneva of 2012. I'm thinking I may be wrong about that. But the new Alpine concept was actually worked on by a small company called Caterham. Now, Caterham builds a lot of these little small, little super light sports cars. Well, apparently Caterham is going to take some of the lessons learned and some of the technology to build a car of their own. One of their first full-bodied automobiles, and they want to take on a giant. They want to take on Porsche and their Cayman. Now, the car is going to be 270 brake horsepower, and it's going to be super lightweight, so might as well reach for the stars when you're reaching for the Cayman here. I can't wait to see what kind of styling they come up with for this particular automobile and what could become of this Caterham in the future. Next up on the list, Ford EVs are in the news. As we did in a couple of shows ago, talked about Nissan Leafs pricing, taking a huge price cut. The new Ford EV Focus will also get a price cut. Now, if you want to lease this particular automobile, you'll take a price cut of $11,000. But if you want to purchase the automobile, $2,000 right off the top. And then if you want to finance it through Ford Financial, you'll get another $2,000 off. So there has never been a more perfect time. If you want an all-electric automobile, you better run down to your Nissan and your Ford dealership right now. Next up on the list, the Godzilla, the Nissan GTR. Pricing just came, official pricing, for the next generation, or I shouldn't say next generation, the next year, model year of the F Nissan GTR. 2014 GTR will be priced at $99,590. That's for the base model. And we'll go all the way up to the Black Edition, which will be $109,300. So only a little over three grand in upgrade in pricing year over year. So if you want to upgrade from last year to this year's, won't cost you that much money, I guess. Next up on the list, the McLaren P1. McLaren P1's been rumored around about the pricing on this particular automobile. As rumors keep floating around about what this car is going to cost, we're hearing about $1.2 million, which puts it right in line with its mainline competitors, namely the Porsche 918 Spyder, and also the recently freakishly seen around testing Ferrari F70. Now, the new F70 is also going to make its debut at the Geneva Motor Show. We're thinking maybe quite possibly the McLaren P1 and the 918 Spider from Porsche could show off their production versions, which would almost make Geneva, Switzerland the nexus of the universe for the next generation of the highest of the high supercars. So we'll have to wait and see what comes to Geneva, Switzerland here in a couple of months, but it could be some exciting stuff there. Next up on the list is an interesting story I found on yahoonews.com. Now this is a picture of a 918 Spider owned by a fellow by the name... I shouldn't say Spider. It's a 917 race car, I should say. And it's owned by a fellow by the name of David Piper. David Piper was actually approached by a man by the name of Mark Hales who wanted to shoot this thing for a magazine shoot. Now, there was also another car in this listing, which was a Ferrari of the same vintage of race cars. This car was actually made quite famous in the movie Le Mans with Steve McQueen. Now, Mr. Piper told Mr. Hales 
that he would wish him to keep the car. Now, Mr. Hales, mind you, was a very well-accomplished vintage race car driver, so nothing to be sneezed at as far as his he was skills were concerned. But Mr. Piper told Mr. Hales to keep the car under 7,000 revs. Well, apparently on a missed gear change, he got up to 8,200 RPMs, which then basically lunged the engine. So once the engine failed, this was back in April 2009, Mr. Piper sued Mr. Hales, and now the official ruling has come down. And I'm going to transfer this over into, as Yahoo did, to U.S. dollars so we can all maybe understand it. Well, U.S. money, here's what, here's what it comes down to. $74,000 worth of damage, plus he's going to pay over $100,000 in cord costs. Now, the trick of this is Mr. Hales claims he doesn't have the cash and he's going to have to go into bankruptcy and give up his home. So a bunch of enthusiasts over in the U.K. have actually gone together and put together a fund to try to help him pay for these costs. So, And they're trying to make Mr. Piper maybe back down on, on repairing this automobile. But it's one of those things, I guess, maybe he didn't have insurance on these two cars when he was test driving them, but... Interesting story. You can check it out on yahoonews.com. And this is the interesting story that came from my backyard. I was in one of my local body shops here this week when I came across this C6 Corvette convertible. I didn't think too much of it until I heard the sucker fire up. Sweet mercy, this thing made a lot of noise. Well, on closer inspection, this thing is an HPE 700 Hennessy C6 convertible. Now, the thing had a cage in it. had a bunch of other stuff. Now, obviously, this thing took a pretty good smack to the side. Also, ruined a lot of the rear suspension as the rear wheel was all deranged on the automobile. I instantly thought what you're probably thinking right now is, well, 700 horsepower, it got away from him. Well, apparently, this fellow moved down from down in Hennessy's backyard, down in Texas, up to where I live, and apparently only three days into his new life in the new town, and he got T-boned by a Cadillac full of young people who had no insurance. Now he's hoping that this thing will be totaled, but I would imagine after having almost 30 grand worth of engine enhancements to this automobile, that I imagine an insurance company probably won't total this thing. I'll keep you in tune as to what happens to this automobile. And if you want to check out the Motor Cars Enthusiast Facebook page, you can see a better picture of this thing as well. Also, I'm putting up a bunch of the photos or a bunch of the videos for the all-new Super Bowl ads that are going to be on the Super Bowl coming up very soon. So if you want to see some sneak peeks of some of the auto ads that will be in the Super Bowl, you can check it out on the Motor Cars Enthusiast Facebook page. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time, and you'll get the first dibs on the new shows as soon as they come out. And that's all I saw that I thought was worth talking about for this week's Motor Cars Enthusiast. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again real soon.